Hi everyone. I wanted to tell you about an adventure I had this past weekend. I went with my family to a new place that I had never explored before and when we got there there was this huge beautiful old oak tree with a bench underneath and I spent some time just laying on that bench looking up at the branches of the tree and while I did that it made me start thinking about what it might be like to be a squirrel climbing those branches or maybe a caterpillar way up in the top trying to eat some oak leaves and holding on tight when the wind was blowing. And it got me thinking about how when we look at something in a new way, it can really lead to some new and interesting discoveries. So to help inspire you to do that this week, I have a book called What's Up, What's Down. It's written by Lola Schaefer. The pictures are by Barbara Bash and I'm reading it with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. And it's an interesting book. Oh, it starts with the earth right here. But you actually hold it like this. And it comes with instructions that say, follow the arrows and let your eyes travel up, reading from the bottom of the page to the top. Then halfway through, turn the book around and let your eyes travel down reading from the top to the bottom. What's up if you're a mole? Loose, rich soil sewn together with thread fine roots. What's up if you're a root? Proud new grass pushing emerald blades towards the sun. What's up if you're the grass? The trailing legs of a startled toad leaping out of sight. What's up if you're a toad? A sea of wildflowers rising and falling in tides of color. What's up if you're a wildflower? Whisper thin butterfly wings fluttering above petal cups. What's up if you're a butterfly? All trees spreading leaves into umbrellas of shade. What's up if you're a tree? The traffic of birds rushing here and there on invisible highways. What's up if you're a bird? Bold blue sky wrapping the world in fresh clean air. What's up if you're the sky? The pearly moon hanging high, reflecting soft, glowing light into space. And here's where we turn it around. What's down if you're the moon? Feathery white clouds swirling over land and sea. What's down if you're a cloud? Rows of ocean waves swelling, surging, splashing, crashing. What's down if you're a wave? A playful pod of whales swimming to their winter home. What's down if you're a whale? A ballet of seaweed twisting and twirling in endless currents. What's down if you're seaweed? Prickly sea urchins dotting rocks like black pin cushions. What's down if you're a sea urchin? Graceful ray gliding silently on wing-like fins. What's down if you're a ray? An undersea park of giant sponges hosting creatures large and small. What's down if you're a sponge? And sleek octopus jetting toward a hidden cavern. What's down if you're an octopus? Deep See fish flickering and flashing and flickering in the ink black waters. What's down if you're a deep sea fish? Layers of loose mud blanketing the ridges and canyons of the rocky crust at the bottom of the world. Here's the earth again. Good luck everyone. I hope you find some new ways to look at things and explore this week and find some amazing discoveries. Have fun.